I had uh, had been trying out for uh, football scholarships at various places, McNeese State in Louisiana, Troy State in Alabama. Had been offered partial scholarships at a couple of places, mm -hmm. um, but I couldn't afford to go. I had to have a full scholarship. So at that point, it's along about August <coughs> um, in 1957, I had almost decided that I wasn't going to be able to go to college. Uh, in early August, uh, a mentor in Panama City, Florida, who had been working to try to get me somewhere at a college, received a letter from Coach Sullivan inviting me to come to Scuba, Mississippi, and actually it indicated that it was a scholarship uh, to come here. Um, he'd never seen me. Didn't All he knew about me was what this guy had told him about me. So I, uh, th that was kind of my last effort. Uh, I was still waiting to hear from Troy State University because they were trying to decide how they could work it in where I could get a full, full scholarship there. Um, I had not heard from them, so I got on a Greyhound bus, came to Meridian, Mississippi, and was picked up by the manager, uh, team manager, a guy, his last name was Quarles, and I don't remember his first name. But he picked me up in Meridian and drove me to the campus, and that's how I got to Scuba, Mississippi, because that was an opportunity to further my college education. The, the White Sox were scouting the championship game we played against Pearl River, and I knew they were there. It's probably uh, it just gave me a little bit more adrenaline flow, too. But uh, I said, oh, man, I got a chance to show myself. So I, I did. We ended up, I actually had a no-hitter going until the ninth inning uh, in that game, and a guy got a hit off of me, and it was my fault because it came by me and I should have filled it. it and that would have been the end of it, and I'd have had a no-hitter. But I don't think it would have made any difference. The White Sox were there. Their, their scouts were there scouting the pitcher for the other team, who we had done away with. About the second or third inning, we had knocked him out of the game. We ended up winning that game four to one. After the game, I fully expected that those guys would probably want to talk to me, and they didn't 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 even talk to me. So that's when I figured out that I was going to need to get an education and figure out a better way to make a living because I wasn't going to make it as a baseball player. That was the absolute best I could do, and uh, and if those guys didn't think I had any talent or anything like that, I was pretty much it was over with. So. But that wasn't a really unhappy moment. I was, we were pretty happy that we, we'd won that state championship. It, it was a way game. When we got back, again, we jump on the school bus and we ride back. And I think we got back from Pearl River here about, it might have been 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. It was real dark. And, and uh, the whole student body was out there to greet us. And, and uh, that, that was a lot of fun, quite a thrill when we had done that. That was a back-to-back -back championship, which I uh, don't know if we've ever done that since then. Made you feel important. Uh, uh, really made you feel, uh, as I said, there, there are two men in my life that uh, my dad and, and Bull Sullivan that I never wanted to disappoint. And, uh, um, I, I felt that strongly about him. He had a, had a tremendous impact on on me then and and my future. I, I think he had a lot to do with the success that I had as a businessman in the future. So we went back to Panama City, Florida, our hometown, and I, I interviewed for a job where they had 25 or 30 applicants. So they told me. And because I had two years of college, and because I had a pretty good resume, having been president of the student body, captain of the debate team, uh, baseball championship, uh, quarterback on the football team, all of those leadership qualities, I got hired over all the other people. Uh, and I remained with that company. The company changed over that period of years, but I stayed with that company for 37 years. 
becoming a, a regional manager and a senior vice president with them was the highest that I obtained, which is pretty good. I was in charge of uh, three states and all of their employees. And all of this, uh, I would have never obtained that kind of success in that business world without the experience that I had here, in my opinion. You could say, well, you could have gone so you know, well, this is what made it happen. So that's why I give it to credit. Uh, I think some of the attributes that I gained here, playing for football for a guy like Bull Sullivan, playing baseball for a guy like Tom Adams, the influence that uh, my teachers had on me, Ann and I tried to pass on to our kids. Uh, it, it's an honor that, uh, I, you know, I, I'll tell you, this may not be a good way to describe this, but uh, I'm going to be cremated. I don't want a headstone or anything like that. What's more, what would be far more meaningful to me, and I think to my kids and my grandkids, is uh, being in the, the Hall of Fame here. I mean, you know, if they want to, if they want to go see a headstone, they can come back here and see something worthwhile. So I, I guess that's what it means. Very honored and humble.